Gillespie are being told to expect little or no water for an undetermined amount of time. Shoppers raced to this Walmart for bottled water last night, only to find empty shelves. All Jackson Public Schools are switching to virtual learning indefinitely, and the Lieutenant Governor says, our understanding is the water and sewer system serving 250,000 citizens of the state and numerous businesses is at the brink of collapsing. It means the city cannot produce enough water to fight fires, to reliably flush toilets. In some Hello everybody. Just another day that the Lord has made, boy. Blessings for everyone. You see that intro? So Jackson, Mississippi doesn't have water. And I got to thinking, because I shouldn't be thinking, because I love movies and stuff. But one thing they don't tell a lot of people is one of the largest dormant volcanoes is under Jackson, Mississippi. I don't know if anybody's ever seen Dante's Peak, but remember the water goes out before, like, all this stuff happens with the volcano and stuff. You know, I really hope that's not what it is, because I am not in the mood for that shit. You already know what I'm on. But before I begin any of the ranting and raving that I do oh so well, let me show you what I'm working with. Breakfast. Ah! Felt like cooking, y'all. Having the sausage links, they're the maple kind. Having toast. My eggs. Got my fruit cup. Got my coffee. Yeah. Milk. Orange juice. Let's go ahead and say our grace. Let's get it in. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. May it nourish our bodies and strengthen our minds. In your name we both pray. Amen. I got my number one here. My nephew DJ. Hey DJ! DJ to move back home, y'all. I wish you luck, DJ. <laughs> Good luck, DJ. <sighs> it seems as though we're going from one extreme to the other. Just last week and a couple weeks before that, we were being flooded out in parts. It's one woman's frantic cries for help as flood water rushes her. Now we're going through droughts all over the world. In parts. Listen up. It's been a long, hot summer. Droughts and heat waves have spread across entire continents worldwide, killing crops, drying up rivers, and raising worries about our planet's future. You know what comes after droughts, Even right? Reveal tantalizing glimpses of the past, mm. really hidden from view. Like this ornate 17th century garden in England, 300 year old paths and hedges laid bare by record setting heat. Most were revealed by falling water levels as rivers shriveled. Like this island in China and its Buddhist statues, believed to be 600 years old. And this is around the world. I'm worried, this local man said. I feel like the environment has just become quite bad. I think this is a warning to us. In mm. Spain, a dried out reservoir displayed an entire village swallowed when the dam was built. Jesus. The feeling is nostalgic as people see the home of a family member, their own, or someone they know re emerge, said the town's mayor. Some even date back to prehistory. In Texas, a dinosaur left these 113 million year old tracks. Mm -hmm. Other waterways exposed the scars of history's worst trials, mm. like this bomb from World War II destroyed by the Italian army. 
Listen to what he says after this. And in Serbia, a graveyard for sunken Nazi warships emerged from the Danube. Mm. But other rivers convey urgent warnings. Listen to this. To come. In German tradition, these hunger stones mark the water levels that preceded famines. The oldest one from 1616 mm -hmm. means, if you see me, weep. Oh my. Seriously, y'all. Things that the water have hid for centuries are being uncovered. Droughts are causing rivers, lakes, and other bodies of water to drastically recede. And in the process, they're revealing hidden landmarks and relics. Here are some things that have been uncovered so far. Dinosaur tracks from around 113 million years ago were unearthed during a severe drought in Texas. The dinosaur that left the tracks is thought to be 15 feet tall and weighs 7 tons. Researchers are now racing against the rain, which is likely to bring mud and cover the tracks again. The water in the Yangtze River has receded so far that it's revealed a trio of Buddhist statues that are thought to be 600 years old. As the Danube River reached some of its lowest ever levels due to a drought in Europe, more than 20 ships were exposed, many of them still holding ammunition. These stones date back to the 1616 drought. The warning written on the stone translates to, if you see me, weep. The stones last surfaced in 2018 and were reportedly once used as hydrological landmarks. The structure sits in a corner of a reservoir in Spain's province of Caceres. It's the fourth time it's been visible and the creator of the structure is unknown according to experts. Mm. Yeah, Lake Mead 1999 versus 2021. Now keep in mind Lake Mead is the largest reservoir in the US. It supplies water to millions of people across seven states, tribal lands, and even northern Mexico. But in recent months as the water level continues to drop, people have been finding planes, boats, and even human remains at the bottom of the lake. All over the world! <laughs> What in the world is going on, y'all? You have to ask yourself, if we're looking for water, Then everything else is looking for water. And food. <laughs> Đâu 
I guess it's only going to be a matter of time before the oceans dry up. And then it make the bigger things in the ocean come to the surface to find other food sources. Now I don't think that this is a joke. You won't think it's funny at 3 a.m. in the morning when you wake up thirsty. No! 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 Or when everyone else is dying from hunger and thirst. Hey, you look really good. What's going on? Oh my God, thank you. I showered. Animals don't understand what's going on. This is going on, whether we want it to or not, on a global scale, y'all. People are using umbrellas to cover from the sun. People are still falling out due to heat strokes there. They are not used to those temperatures. And yet there's still people. There's still people out there trying to act like ain't nothing going on. Are we living in the fucking twilight zone? We're not even halfway through this year and it's a fucking shit show. Stuff I've I've never experienced in my life. I've been all over the fucking world multiple times. I couldn't recap if I had to what has happened in the last 5 months. Yeah, 5 months, people, of this year. It's a great time to be prepared. Seriously, from war to inflation to shortages to shootings. And I still get the question, what are you prepared for? Everything's normal. This is all normal. What'd you say? Business as usual. Yeah, Frank's head stopped taking pictures and videos. Yeah, I know. He can see you taking video. Tell them to be quiet. It's for me. It ain't for the world. It's for me. Tell them I can do what I want for me. Going on family vacation. Going to Splash Mountain. No Splash. Just Mountain. What's going to happen to all of our water parks? Our backyard water celebration.
Y'all not hearing me though. Support each other. Love each other. And if you find love, all right, all right. But that ain't what we're here for. We need prayer. One question and one question only. Where did you get that, huh? Where do you find that? I have been trying to get that. I've prayed. What did you do? That's all I've been asking for. It feels like forever. Just want some rain. You know how dry it is in Central Texas America? How hot it is? It's like walking out into a saltine cracker out here. It is hotter than a billy goat with a blowtorch. 52 consecutive days. That's one after the other of 100 plus degrees. Okay? Where did you get that? Tell me. Tell me, please. Please, also, if someone wants to love me like they love each other, please do it. <laughs> well, if you guys like what you've seen here, like, comment, and subscribe. And I talk to you guys and you guys soon.